This is why I prefer Google ads over Facebook ads 99% of the time. Hey everyone, I'm John Timmerman and I cover the world's most exciting brands and marketing trends so that both you and I can grow our businesses faster today. We're going to talk about Google ads versus Facebook ads. Now, disclaimer that there are always exceptions to the rule, exceptions to the rule. I can, I can talk. 99% of the time, I prefer Google ads over Facebook ads and it's for one simple reason and that is Google ads are catching people that have a highly transactional or informational search intent, whereas Facebook ads most of the time are targeting people to influence them and interrupt them to taking action, okay? So let me say this again because it's very important. It's very simple but very important. Google ads most of the time, when we're talking about search Google ads, I should be specific, search Google ads, are catching people who are searching for a particular thing. Okay, so might catch somebody who's searching for, you know, how do I how do I clean my gutters? And the ads that show up are gutter cleaning companies local to that person. Just in case they try to clean their gutters and they're like, this is too hard, I just wanna go hire somebody. Or maybe they see that there's gutter cleaning for as low as $97 and they're like, you know what, I'd rather just hire somebody than do it myself, okay? So that's like an informational search. That's the informational intent. But then there's also people with transactional intent many times. They're searching for something very specific like best cell phone holders or best camera lights or best cameras or something that they're looking to eventually buy. They're already looking. They're already a warm prospect. And so a Google ad nurtures them to hopefully you, if you're doing it right, and your product or your business. Same thing for services, right? best carpet cleaning companies in New York, you know, whatever it might be, right? So Google ads are catching an information or a, or a transactional search intent. Now let's look at Facebook ads. Actually, before we go to Facebook ads, there's one disclaimer too. Google ads platform offers other types of advertising that are not only uh, catching search intent. That's video ads on YouTube, right? They're interrupting somebody who's watching a video. They might be related right? You might be searching how to clean my gutters and you want to see YouTube videos and then you click on a YouTube video to learn how to clean your gutters and then an ad shows up, a pre-roll ad for a gutter cleaning company and that works. But it's a cold audience. They're not looking for a gutter cleaning company. They're looking for how to clean gutters. Now let's look at Facebook ads, right? Facebook and Instagram, it's the same, it's meta, right? But Facebook ads uh, platform, would be across uh, uh, Facebook properties and Facebook companies. Those are usually interrupting somebody's feed on Facebook or Instagram, somebody, uh, uh, or Reels. They're already looking at videos. They're searching their videos, the people they follow, the brands that they follow. They're, they're looking for good content. And then to interrupt them is an ad, okay? That's only a small reason why I prefer Google ads is, is that Facebook ads are interruption style ads. That can be okay. Okay. In fact, we use Facebook ads a lot of times for a lot of our clients. It's just done in a different way. In order to get Facebook ads to work, especially if you're talking video or, or visual sort of, you know, visual ads, right? Video or, or photos, they're going to show up in their feed. So creating ads that look a lot like native content is extremely important in Facebook ads. But you have to remember that somebody's not searching for that thing that you're offering them most likely. Of course, you're targeting them based on uh, interests and cohort data and things like that, right? But you're only assuming that maybe they might be a good prospect for you and your uh, the thing that you're selling. So when they're scrolling through Facebook or they're scrolling through Instagram and they see your ad, which looks like content, they might stop and be like, oh, this video is helpful or, or, oh, this is cool information. But they have to have the need, they have to happen to have the need for what you're offering in order to get them to click on it and then also in, in order to get them to consider or even convert on whatever it is you're selling, okay? So in essence, the customer journey typically takes longer with Facebook ads than it does with Google ads because the customer is already further down or further along in the customer journey with 
Google search ads than they are with Facebook ads. And that is the reason why if I had to choose, I would pick Google ads over Facebook ads 99% of the time. Now, okay, I said there's exceptions to the rule. And I also have to say a disclaimer that we oftentimes, probably 99% of the time, use both with our clients because Facebook ads are great for awareness. They're great for measuring content and testing content. They're great for getting engagement and top of funnel, whereas Google ads, yes, are good for top of funnel, but are oftentimes better for middle or bottom of funnel conversions, okay? So Google ads, if I had to choose, but we all should probably be testing and using both as well as other ad platforms like TikTok and Snapchat and LinkedIn as well. Hopefully this video helped you uh, make a decision or kind of get some more context behind paid media and advertising. If you found it valuable, hit the thumbs up button like everybody else asks you to do on YouTube uh, and send this to uh, somebody who is in your marketing team that might find this valuable. Maybe they'll subscribe. Maybe you'll subscribe. Ah, who knows? Who knows, really, right? And if you need help with your advertising, check out my ad agency, Good Monster. We do performance marketing, so we essentially get you sales, leads, results, clicks, all that good kind of stuff that I know you're dying for. So thegoodmonster.com, my team can help you out. See you in the next video.